Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends story mode with the Wu story. We pick things back up with the Battle of the Jin Province after fighting Nanjun last time. And this is actually quite the leap. It's roughly a decade. Because the Battle of Nanjun is where Zhou Yu dies, and that's around 210. And now the Battle of Jin Province is where Wu attacks Guan Yu's forces from behind. And this happened in uh, 220. So quite a big jump. Everything in between just did not happen. All those defeats at Hefei, if we don't play it, it never happened. So let's just continue here. Right, so we saw this last time, but essentially Zhou Yu pushed forward into the Jin province. Liu Bei's forces went south, claimed four commanderies in the south, and then headed towards the Yi province. Now previously Zhou Yu was hoping to launch attack on the Yi province himself, but from the wound he sustained uh, in attacking Nanjun, he died. Oh, there's also a marriage in between. Did not end happily. When Liu Bei went into the Yi province, uh, Lady Sun went back to Wu. Uh, they had a separation, essentially signal a divorce, because Liu Bei would take a new wife once he became uh, the leader of the Yi province. After Zhou Yu dies, Lu Su takes over. And 10 years, 10 years until this moment here. And this demand for the return of the Jin province is nonsense in my opinion because they had signed a treaty just maybe two years prior to this after the Wu forces already stole back most of that southern Jin province area. Technically Guan Yu held on to a little bit in the north, they did a swap and um, it was agreed that Guan Yu can he keep that land. And this is just kind of a backstab to take all of the Jin province. We'll be playing as Lu Meng, who at this point has succeeded Lu Su, who has died. He has died of old age at this point. Lu Meng has taken over and is a much more hardline Wu officer compared to Lu Su before him. And he would uh, launch several military campaigns against Guan Yu's forces in the south and stole those land back. And Guan Yu was very cautious of him. So Lu Meng thought the plan in the winter of 219 was to call sick. Uh, he's going to call himself in sick and promote uh, Lu Xun, uh, who is going to head uh, the Wu forces after Lu Meng's passing, which happened shortly after the killing of Guan Yu. But Lu Meng departed the Jin province, which allowed Guan Yu to relax his defenses from behind. And also, uh, Lu Xun was seen as a very young and talented boy in Wu, but in Guan Yu's eyes, just a teenager who just rose up. So he didn't care too much for him, and Lu, uh, Lu Xun also wrote many letters to Guan Yu at this time, praising him to kind of soften his stance against uh, a potential threat. And once the winter has passed, Lu Meng secretly uh, covered his unit as merchants as he sailed back to the Jin province to head the offense against Guan Yu here. So let's just jump in here. Uh, our weapon is a glaive. And let's see if we have a what's oh, called a pike here in the system. And we do have a slightly better variant. Actually, why don't we do this? Actually, no, that's fine. We're gonna have to find the pike here anyways. Finding it, ah, it was not difficult this time. We'll go with a heaven and man variant here. Maybe there's a pre-battle shop. I doubt there's anything good just because we're playing on a rather low difficulty setting. I might grind the game a little bit on hard just to pick up some better weapons for our future return to the hypothetical run of Wu, which will happen after this historical run. But that's up in the air right now. I think we'll just take accuracy. This is fine. Let's go. All my strength and wisdom are yours to command. We do have camp, so there is a merchant. Do you have a good pike for us? Should I just start it? Should I, I probably should have started from the top. Yeah, there's only two star ones. I don't want to buy these. Lord Zhou Yu gave his life in capturing Nanjun. I can't help but feel we paid much too big a price for this land. See, they're just pretending this is happening right after. But like I said, this is a, t a decade gap here. What was that guy's name again? Dang it, I forgot. Oh wait, 
It's Handang. Okay, he's just a forgetful comedy relief character for Wu. I know how Lady Lian Shi must feel not being able to be near the princess. She must have realized that Lord Sun Quan needs her more right now. He must be feeling better now since he was rejected earlier. Well, historically, Lady Sun's ready back in Wu, so that's not an issue. I really thought we could get along with Shu, but if they're refusing to return Jin province... Many of Shu's troops have gathered in the center of the battlefield. Are we really going to be able to defeat them? Xu Sheng. Yu oh, Yu Fan, okay. Guan Yu, the god of war is there. He's refusing to return Jin province. The enemy has gathered all of its strength in the center. A direct attack will take up too much time. I thought our relation with Liu Bei was good. He even took the princess as his bride. If things with him turn sour, the princess will suffer most of all. I hope the situation gets settled peacefully. They're really just going to recast this history event. I mean, Guan Yu wasn't even expecting attack. There was no centering the force or anything like that. Maybe it's just my imagination, but Lu Su seemed rather hurry lately. He won't be any help if he exhausts himself. We need to finish this battle as fast as possible. Well, he's dead. Um, what was that guy's name? Uh, are we are we just gonna be all forgetful of Handong here? Guan Yu's sons are also known to be very strong. From the eldest to the youngest, they're Guan Ping, Guan Xing, and Guan Su. He's gotten a daughter, Guan Yin Ping, as well. Apparently, she takes after her father the most. I hope you don't mean her father's looks. Yeah, this is a battle against Guan Yu and the family. Huran. Is he playable here? He looks playable in terms of the way he's dressed. Did you see how ungrateful Liu Bei was? He's not worthy of our princess. You really shouldn't be the one judging. Lord Lu Su has been handling things out of everyone lately. He's always been very generous, but now I'm starting to get a little worried. I'm impressed at how well Lord Lu Su and Lord Lu Meng get along. Alright, let's go, buddy. Master Lu Su. What do you think we should do? As it sits now, it's just a matter of time before a conflict erupts with Liu Bei. Yes, I am not pleased about the situation. Liu Bei's magnetism can rally people to the anti Cao cause. I had thought that would help us unite these provinces against him. But they only need to take Ba Shu to gain control of the Jin province. To gain total control of the Jin province. How does this make sense? How does taking the lands of Ba Shu has to do anything with the Jin province? If that happens, they have agreed to return. Oh, they mean like they take Ba Shu and they give, up, give back the Jin province? I think the problem will be with Guan Yu. He has his own ideas and does not want to give back the Jin province. Okay, so we're just going to cast Guan Yu as a bad guy here, huh? Yes, we must first do something about him. Why now when I have no time left? Time? No, nothing. Just talking to myself. Now let's get this cleared up as soon as possible. Commence the advance from three directions. Jing will soon be ours. Lu Meng, you capture the central base. All right, go that to the should center. attract the enemy's attention. I have my jobs. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's give our all for Lord Xun Quan. Okay, the move set's pretty good. I shall show you how a battle is won. E T? No idea who he is. He's gonna be dead. I will not let you through here. No One game. What it takes, okay. you will be stopped. An ambush. It was to be expected. No, no. There is no need for us to panic. My kill. No, Drew and stow it. All right. Let's go and capture the next base. Home. We must do what we can to attract the enemy's attention. Most of these generals are not actually here. Leitong participates in later that campaigns. To turning the tide. This is basically just Guan Yu's men here. 
Oh, give me your item. Begin pursuit immediately. Who's in the other fort? Ma Liang? Uh, Ma Liang is in the Jin province, that is true. The entire Ma clan. Five sons. Perfect timing. I was looking for an opportunity now, to test artistically, they should have given him white eyebrows. That's what he was most famous for. Ma Su's brother. Uh, supposedly, you know, Ma Liang was the most talented in the family. After, after his strategy. death, Zhuge Liang took Ma Su in sort of as his protege. And we all know how that went during the Northern Expeditions. Right, let's test out our alt. We're surrounded by quite a few people. Ah, Liu Feng is here. So Liu Feng being adopted son of Liu Bei. Um, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting thrown. Was in charge of logistics um, close to the Jin province. He was supposed to send in a reinforcement when Guan Yu was in trouble. He didn't do that. He and uh, Mi Feng surrendered to... One more for the glory of uh, did not aid Guan Yu there. Or they didn't surrender, they just basically didn't put up a fight and uh Well Mi Feng definitely surrendered. Uh Liu Feng just didn't go help. And then afterward Liu Bei executed him for his failures. Now, not a real son. Things have taken a turn for the just worst. adopted. I must think of something quickly. I mean that's why Guanyu's forces collapsed so much, they just fought, you know, Tsai right. forces and Yuzian's forces at Fan Castle. And then they heard news that behind them, all the city has surrendered, so towards all the troops. It's like, you know, your family members living there, you don't know if there's safety. So morale is just really, really bad. Master Lu Su's plan was a resounding success. Uh, stop whacking me. What if you got to drop item? It's time for There's a lot of generals out here. Just can't find them. There's supposed to be uh, no. Who also doesn't die in this battle. Stays around till he's like 60 and still fighting. Oh, Chen Dao, fan favorite apparently. Uh, there is a lot of conspiracy theory that Chen Dao is like the life that Zhao Yun lived, but no. He's just uh, someone who was mentioned once in the records of. Being second in terms of valor to Zhao Yun doesn't mean like he's like Zhao Yun, just that he's second, and it's only valor, nothing like achievements. Really a bodyguard captain, and then there's people online who take that line and say that you know Zhao Yun used to be a bodyguard captain, so perhaps Zhao Yun just stole his achievements. When that's like ridiculous if you think about it. I mean, Zhao Yun's recorded to participate in campaigns. You performed great you know, as Chen Dao has one line in a history book. For my and then we have conspiracy theories everywhere. Where is the other general? Or where did he drop his stuff? I think we killed someone. Well, there's the name over there. Though they were once our allies, cool. they are now our enemies. I must act accordingly. This divisor. I'm going to enjoy unleashing my strategies against you. I cannot let you pass through here. Not without a fight. Who's behind me? Oh, Guan Xi. Have known. I can't we have the second son. Wait, did they just say Fa Zhong? Because Fa Zhong's also we dead already. Go and help them. Li Yan, also not here. Li Yan should be in bot. Hey, sure, Li Yan. So these, these are all going to be important characters for Shu later on. Xu Jing as well. Uh, Zhou Tan is fictional. Uh, you know, kind of the squire character for Guan Yu in the novel. We're just going to do this first, and then we're going to do a jump Musu as well. Return after and then my we'll do... I think there's supposed to be like a switch Misu. I'm not sure if I can put it off. Oh, oh there... I think that was. And then we can also activate this and then try this. All four types of Misu that we have, I just unleash them all. Ooh, can we pick that up for continuous Misu gains? There's no more enemies. Wow, 
Wow, this, this is sick. Too bad we ran out of things to kill. Overall, pretty nice haul here. And Ugh. all there's left is Gwen, right? Neither this battle nor my health are going very well. I don't think I can hold out much longer. No, my friend, don't die. Stop right there. Flame here. I will not allow you to get any closer to my father. We never fought Guan King or Guan Suo. Did they die before? Oh, Guan Suo has appeared. Guan Suo is also fictional. Father, you are needed to he only exists him. in opera. Leave this to me. A fictional son Please, that father. survived this conflict. Allow me to fight alongside you. I am here for you, Father. I will defend Jing with my dying breath if need be. Mm, we'll go find the daughter. There she is. I am so glad to see you, Lu Mon. She's ready dying. Thank you for coming. Are you prepared to face the daughter of the Oh, Goddess she's Lord? holding what? Two weights at the end of a pole? What kind of weapon is that? I lacked the necessary strength. I'll be back after right, doors I open. God of War and your son. Who else is here? Oh! All three sons have returned. We have no Musu charge. We're gonna be quite careful here. Facing off against some tough fellows here. We'll try to build up some Musu as we navigate this battlefield. Oh, I see a pot! I think Jump Musu is fine. I think Jump Musu is pretty good. Got blocked by a few guys. Kill some mob. Block, block, block. Block, block, block. block. Oh, we got we got friends too. Counter. There we go. Activate this. Let's go wild. Thrust. Thrust. I don't want to kill Guan Yu first. I want to kill the Suns first. Get the drops. Guan Yu is down. Guan Yu. One more for the glory of Wu. Guan Ping is down as well. Your skills in combat were a thing of beauty. That was quite a spectacle. Truly amazing. And Guan Yu's down. You have fought with courage and wisdom. But Jing Province has been entrusted to my care. I cannot back down. <laughs> Regardless of the intent of Master Liu Bei, I have discretion in such matters. Very well. Further fighting between us will benefit only Cao Cao. I must have you vow two things, however. First, that you will respect the alliance between Wu and Shu. Second, that you will use the land of Jing province to oppose Cao Cao. Mm. Very well. I swear on my honor. Good. Then let us both withdraw our troops from this battle. Okay, I think we have the wrong battle of the Jin Master province. Lu Su, you surely could have killed Guan Yu. Why didn't you finish him? <laughs> Face down that monster? Do you wish me dead, Lu Meng? Uh, of course not. Come, we have preparations to make. It can't be long before Cao Cao starts moving again. Lu Meng. Yes. Your instinct to kill Guan Yu was not necessarily wrong. But you also need to learn to pull back when necessary and manipulate your enemies. You are too guileless. I see. Although your honesty has made you who you are. Learn all you can every day. Support the future of Wu. 
Yes. Surpass me. And even one day, Master Zhou Yu. Master Lu Su, I fear your meaning. So I think this is not the 220 campaign, but the 218 campaign, where Wu stole a lot of land, and Guan Yu had a peace talk with them to split the remaining land. So they never really fought Guan Yu, they just went south and took some of the areas around Chao Chao. Yeah, you see this divide. This divide now makes a lot of sense. But this is not an act of real fighting. Wu just basically went in and took land that was not heavily defended because Guan Yu's forces are mainly in the north defending against Cao Cao's forces. And this was the agreement that was put down, right? So at this point, how can you still claim that Liu Bei has not returned to Jin province? So when they got backstabbed, actually in 220, that was just a complete backstab. Alright, so Liu Bei conquered Han Zhong. Are we going to Hefei on the other side? Because that was the plan. We were supposed to rally together with a west and east attack at the same time. Well, Guan Yu push in through the center. Han Zhong won, Hefei lost, and Guan Yu won, and then got backstabbed by the one who lost to Hefei. So think about it from a big picture, right? You guys agree to... Ooh. This is the first time we can play as Sun Quan, but Gan Ning's here, Ling Tong as well. This is going to be an embarrassing battle for Sun Quan. But yeah, think about it. So you guys signed a treaty dividing the land of the Jin province after you claimed you should have returned it. And then you coordinated attack together on Cao Cao. Of the three points of attack, you're the only point that lost. Then you decided to attack the middle point that's winning and allying yourself with Cao Cao only to get backstabbed by Cao Cao. So you return to attack Hefei again, only to lose at Hefei. This is why my opinion of Sun Quan here has never been very high. But regardless, we'll be coming back here to play the Battle of Hefei, which historically wasn't as embarrassing as it uh, you know, ended up being. Uh, there's still a lot of good fighting periods. It's just that when Sun Quan sort of ran out of supplies and decided to retreat, he was very disorganized in the way he retreated from Hefei. Basically, the main army was already you know, past some bridge, and Sun Quan's main force with the officers were acting as rear guard and you know Zhang Liao being as astute as he is seized upon that and charged out at Sun Quan which led to this really embarrassing retreat where Sun Quan almost died um so yeah we'll be playing that uh with a different obviously a different layout for the battle itself I think I'll be playing as Gan Ning he's one of my favorite Wu characters uh since Dynasty Warrior 2 just the style uh, being a pirate and all also very brave even in this battle too uh, led a couple of solo charges, the Pirate of the Bell, uh, being the fact that he's and his cavalry would just tie little bells around their horses uh, to make sounds as they charged in to strike fear in the enemy. But we'll be coming back and playing this next time, so hopefully you guys enjoy this one, and see you all then. Bye!